Hey friend, welcome back. And we have another Azure haul. My channel is not going to turn into Azure hauls. So that is not my goal. I did do a couple of extra this month with just things that Azure sells that are not food, that are just items that you can purchase, usually a one-time purchase, like buckets or jars and whatnot. Uh, some of them are do need to be replaced when you use them, like parchment paper or muffin cups and stuff like that. So I do have a video about that that I'll link down below. I also did another video with just the cleaning products that I bought up to this point for measure. So that did come out this month as well. So those are two other videos. If you're looking to see what else does Azure have, I need to see it in real life. I do have two videos for that. But this is this month's Azure haul. And my name's Carrie. This is Homestead by the Highway. And we're going to get right to this. I... I'm going to try to give you prices. If I miss a price, because I didn't go ahead and write it on there in advance, and I usually do, but I will put the prices down below for you as well. I kind of let this some left of this semi-packed because the people that Azure that pack your stuff, pack it with care. They are like Tetris packing champions. If you need people to move you, it's the people that are packing these boxes. So when I got my box, it has an arrow on it. I'm not gonna squash it back in because I did dig a couple things out so I couldn't repack it the way they did. There is an arrow saying to hold the side up because there were items in there that usually potentially leak or break. I think it's because of the glass jars I had in there. I was able to get one thing of cheese. Cheese is a hard thing to get at Azure right now. And when I ordered this, there was something going on with the system and it wouldn't let me try to order two blocks, but I will take my one. I will feel blessed by it. This is Sierra Nevada. And I don't think that's the brand I normally get, but I'm glad I got one. I will try it. This is raw milk, white cheddar, grass fed, aged over 120 days. This is $5 and 18 cents a pound is what you're seeing on there. This is you can't pay five dollars and 18 cents a pound at a grocery store for raw cheese so very blessed to get this mine ended up being this was 42.34 for this brick and i will i'm very thankful to have it because i know a lot of people are not have not been able to get it on their order the other thing i got is a bread for life starter this is sourdough. I'm gonna give sourdough a try. I have one bread loaf that I make. It's a quick bread. It's not a quick bread. That's not the right name of it. It is a fast bread to make and you whip it up the night before and you bake it the next morning. And I love it. It's like an artesian, like crusty round loaf of bread and I love it. I do want to look into starter dough, so I bought, this is a starter, this has to be kept in the fridge, so I've got to get this back in the fridge. So I got this, and it is it was $13.20 for the starter, so if you take care of it, it should last you forever as you take out the waste and keep adding it and feeding it and that kind of stuff, so we're going to give that a shot. When I opened up my box, the other reason I'm glad they had the arrow up was because I had three bags of these chips. I love these chips. They're called Late July. They're a burnt sea salt and crispy. I also like the lime ones. My husband doesn't care for the lime ones, but I like the plain just as well. So I did get the three pack of these because the price point on them was better than just getting one pack. So the cheese and the the sourdough starter were also in this box. I dug those out, put those in the fridge when I picked this up the other day. But these three bags of chips. And then inside of here, I got another two cup measuring cup. That was one of the items that I talked about in my video because it's on sale this month. I love this. When I'm doing a big baking day and I need six and eight cups of flour or six and eight cups of sugar, this is a champ this, these are really nice maybe a dollar off it was 9.31 on sale and i know it's over ten dollars uh to get it so i picked up another one of those because i love it i got i get my hairspray from azure this was in one of my videos as well but it was time to get some new and it comes and goes in stock i didn't even know if this was going to ship and i was going to get it 
This is the Botanical uh, Hairspray from Kettle Care Botanicals. This is made in the USA. I think it's Montana is where it's made at. This is a light hold. You can see, I usually just use it to keep my flyaways away. I don't curl my hair. I don't have to hold. I don't have to have a lot of hold. So this works for me. If you need a strong hold hairspray, this is not going to be the one for you. But I do love it. It's fragrance free, alcohol free, no synthetic polymers or fragrance and no silicones. So I think it's around the $11 price range for that. I did get three of the Azure Market black bean cans this month. Those are like $1.65-ish for them. I They are low sodium organic. So I just picked those up to have on the shelf. We're getting to that season where we start throwing stuff in the crock pot and it's just, I love having a can of beans. I have yet to take my own dry beans and can them. So until I take, go down that road and do that adventure, these are going to work just fine for me. So I picked up three cans of those. I also grabbed some uh, organic coconut oil. This is Expeller Pressed. I have a lot of coconut oil and this is going to sound weird. Sometimes based on if it's refined or unrefined or sometimes the coconut flavor is just way too much for what I want to use it for. And the gal that uses this says it's a really mild flavor. So I saw it in another video. So I wanted to give it a try and see if sometimes I don't want the total coconut flavor and I don't want the coconut flavor to overpower it. So that's why I picked this up so I could give that a try. And that was $8.15 for that one. These were a splurge. I, I use parchment paper occasionally. A lot of times I love my pans and I don't put anything on them. But sometimes I do want a chunk of parchment paper on them. I do have a big roll of it that I bought from, I think, Costco. But these are the If You Care brand. And I've got other stuff in my other video by If You Care that I use that I love. And these are 24 pre-cut sheets. So it's kind of like a, a spoiler thing. But when you're in a hurry and you want to just get a sheet really fast if you're doing a lot of stuff in the kitchen, these are nice. They just pull out and you don't have to tear off a sheet or figure out all the things. My one from Costco as well is so wide that I'm always having to cut it down unless I use it on my one pan. These are unbleached. My one from Costco is bleached, so it just comes out in a sheet. So I'm excited to have these. Just kind of a little spoiler splurge. It was a little less expensive to get the three pack, so I went ahead and got the three pack because we're coming up on baking season. So I'll go through at least a box of it. If not, I'm gonna have an almost lifetime supply. This, I've been reading a lot about lion's mane, and I actually grew some as a mushroom. It was a kit that I bought at the farmer's market. I grew it, I ate it, I liked it. But there's a lot of really good things that lion's mane does for the body. So I picked up one of these. They were on sale, or they had Azure Cash back, or something like that. So I grabbed a bottle of them. I'm going to try them. It's a mushroom superfood. This is dietary supplement. It's made from mushrooms grown in the USA. It's vegan and gluten-free, non-GMO. It has, for those that know, certified organic mushroom powder blend. It's two grams of the lion's mane. This is a serving size. It's three capsules a day with water. So it was on sale. The 90 count was $18.10, and so that would have been a 30-day supply, which is kind of pricey, but I wanted to give it a whirl. And last, every couple of orders, I try to order a book for measure. I really think that it's important to, Google is great, but the internet goes down things happen. We don't have access to it for whatever reason. And so I really believe that you don't have to have a lot, but we should really keep some things in our hard book library. We'll have to be self Googlers in our books. And so I have tried to buy a variety of books with different things to where if my internet is down or I don't really feel I'm trying to like de-technologize and get off of 
the internet and because so, sometimes I can go down a rabbit hole and then I didn't even get my answer and I didn't get done what I needed to get done so sometimes it's easier to grab a book so this is the book that I grabbed this month this is preserving food without freezing or canning traditional techniques using salt oil sugar alcohol vinegar drying cold storage and lactic fermentation the, I'll show you that there so it's has recipes and stuff in it as well as some things to read about preserving food and that kind of stuff. So I love books that have an amazing cover. This one has one of those covers. So I, this is something I'll dig into once we get past the last of the canning season and it gets too cold outside to go outside and do things. So I've got a couple of books that I've ordered now for Measure and I will add this to my library of things that I have. That was my, oh, no it wasn't. Azure has new items. I did this in one of my other videos too. I kept forgetting stuff. Azure has new items. So they have, they have canning jars now. So one of the things that I was really excited about this, they have half gallons, quarts, and pint jars. One of the things that made me really excited about this is I can buy a case of jars without lids or rings. I don't need lids or rings. I have plenty. First of all, I have a gazillion rings and you know, they start to go bad and you pitch them, but every set you buy, I have, I have rings coming out my ears. So I was happy that I did not need to purchase that metal product to store if I didn't need it. And so that made me really happy about this. So this is the pint jar. This is the regular mouth. It's got like a little mountain. It says Azure Canning, Azure, uh, Azure Canning Company. It's got a nice bottom on it. These feel like a nice heavy duty jar. The company that everybody knows for canning has their product quality has just gone in the toilet and I haven't even been canning that long and I'm epically just in awe of people who said I've used that product for 70 years and I'm, I'm a 70 year canner and this year I had breaking glass, lids that aren't sealing, like all of the issues across the board that they've never had. They sent most of their factory work out of our country and the quality is just crap. So I'm not going to buy it anymore. I'm, I'm glad you have a big brand name, well-known name in every household that has ever heard of canning, but I'm, I'm looking for other sources. So I grabbed a case of these pint jars without lids, as well as these, I, I, we're not, I'm not going to can in these. I was reading an article about people canning in half gallon jars. That is, I want mine for storage. So I have some from Azure that the half gallons, they're short and fat, and I wanted some tall jars. So mine are gonna be for dry storage. So that's what I got these for. Without the lids, I'm gonna give you the price on this one. Without the lids, the pint jars, it was 12, without bands and lids for $11.67. And the half gallons were six half gallons for $13.38. So I got those as well. Those are new to Azure. You can, like I said, you can order the jars with lids and rings. And I probably should have done that so I could have tried the quality of them or shown you the gasket on the inside is like the deal breaker for me. There's that, but I did not get there. I did not get the rings and the lids, just the jars. And they seem like a really nice quality jar. I will go through them and inspect them. Obviously, they, they feel heavier and thicker than the jars I have been buying by the case from the store. Now, am I going to stop using the ones that I have? Absolutely not, because I have a lot of them, and I will just go through them, and as they chip and break and crack and do what they do, which all glass jars do, I will just get rid of them and not replace them with that same brand. 
but so those two did come in as well so i'm super excited about that and once i use them um, i'll mention in one of my videos that i did use them and and what i thought but being that i'm not using their lids and rings it, it's really a glass jar but this glass jar feels way heavier than my other ones and i might weigh them for fun i might do a video short and weigh out jars to see not that the weight of the glass means everything but this feels much thicker than the other jars that i've had so friends thank you so much thank you for joining me for my yet another azure haul and i'm so excited obviously about some of the new things that i got and if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, button down below. I really appreciate it. It really helps the channel as well as if you'd like to watch some of my canning and crazy cooking in the kitchen and I, out in the garden, we're going to be in a couple of days cutting my first pumpkins. I'm totally excited about that. So just come along, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. You'll get notifications. I try to post one video every week and I've actually been trying to do two videos a week. I keep them really short to the best of my ability. That way you can watch it on a lunch or a break at work if you need to, or just squeeze it in somewhere. Thanks friends. Have an amazing day. We'll see you soon.